Hello and welcome. I'm Heather Chastain, president of Shackley North America. The future is being shaped by entrepreneurs, those with the vision to see trends and capitalize on game-changing opportunities. Over the last 20 years, Roger Barnett has launched multiple successful leading-edge startups, including one of the first internet retailers. A graduate of Yale and Yale Law with an MBA from Harvard, he was selected by the World Economic Forum in Davos as a global leader for tomorrow. Roger has been a member of the Harvard School of Public Health Leadership Council, keynote speaker at the White House Council on Aging, and served on the advisory board of the Green Belt Movement, founded by 2004 Nobel laureate Wangari Mathai. Passionate about health, the environment, and entrepreneurship, he brought all those elements together in 2004 when he became chairman and chief executive officer of Shackley Corporation. Roger, thank you so much for sitting down with us today to share your perspective. It's great to be here. Why don't we start off by sort of talking about what entrepreneurship means to you. Entrepreneurship is a way for a family to take control of their own destiny by owning their own business. And I think it's an incredibly powerful thing to be able to give that opportunity to other people. And at Shackley, we're on a mission to democratize entrepreneurship. Because so often, uh, capital or money is given to only certain kinds of people. In the United States, for example, it's given only to mostly white men that come from four or five different cities. And there's people all over the country that want to be able to build and own their own business. And we have an opportunity to provide that to people. This is a journey you've lived personally. You have a very you have a fascinating journey of entrepreneurship. And if anyone wants to listen and hear uh, the stories and the lessons that Roger's learned along the way, please uh, download his podcast at Your Best Life Now. And you can hear all of those stories. But for our time here today, why don't we start and focus on how those lessons really led you to Shackley and why Shackley is such a great choice for people today? Well, one of the early lessons I learned was in business, try to find a business that doesn't rely entirely just on you and your efforts and your time. Because if you do that, you're basically working for an hourly wage. Mm -hmm. And if you don't work, then you don't get paid. And uh, there, you know, everybody knows there's fitness trainers or massage therapists or hairstylists. Mm -hmm. They're all uh, paid well for an hour, but at the end of the day, there's only so many hours in the day. So if you can create a business which um, extends beyond your personal efforts, that means that's something that can last and it can be passed on and it can grow and scale. And so at Shackley, what we try to do is reward you not just for your personal efforts. Uh, so if you go get a customer, you get rewarded mm -hmm. for that. Um, but as that customer reorders, you also get rewarded for that. So that goes beyond your hourly investment in time. Plus, you get, by helping other people create their own entrepreneurial opportunity, you get to participate in their success as well. And so you can start to scale over time. And what's really powerful about that is, uh, is the value of what a social network can become. Mm -hmm. And again, Facebook is a uh, made everything tangible for people. You know, when they did a study, when they were 1.6 billion people, and they realized that everybody was connected in less than four degrees of separation. That means that somebody I know who knows somebody who knows somebody. That's 1.6 billion people, and uh, and so it, just think of the power of how when people are going and desiring to be healthier, have more energy, mm -hmm. have a more active, longer life, um, that as that goes around the world, you can create a business that you get to participate in lots of people's entrepreneurial business sharing those products across geographies, mm -hmm. across generations of time, it becomes a very, very powerful entrepreneurial concept. You know, one of the things that people, I think, get nervous about when they think about starting their own business is how do you manage the risk, right? Because there's lots of upside that we've been talking about, but there's some downside to owning your own business. Can you sort of share how you think about risk management in all of this? There's so many risks in a startup, <laughs> right? And there's unlimited opportunity on one level if you find the right business, but um, but the risks are generally what makes so many startups fail and so many entrepreneurial opportunities so difficult. So um, what I love about what we do to help people democratize this mm -hmm. entrepreneurial opportunity is that we take so much of the risk out of people starting their health and wellness business with Shackley. Um, what are the risks? First of all, you have to have a product. 
You have to create a product that people like. Well, we have 60 plus years of creating amazing products that customers will buy. And a lot of our customers buy for five years, for 10 years, for 15, 20, yeah. 30. We even have customers who've been buying for 50 years or more. Then you have uh, uh, warehousing and distribution and the research and development to create those products and technology mm -hmm. uh, and all these things which are huge investments to make. Yeah. And the more investments you make, the more risk that you have in the business. So we do all that so that somebody who wants to build a business with Shackley as our platform doesn't have to. All they have to do is share the products, help inspire, coach, and support people on their journey to a healthier and better life. And that's, that's amazing. And that's a model, a business model that's been proven, right? Decade in and decade out here yes. with Shackley. How important is it um, what industry you're in? You know, we've talked about the model and the duplication and your net, your social networks and being able to leverage those, but how important is it uh, when people are thinking about what type of business to be in? The industry is everything uh, because you're going to work hard in whatever you do, but if you're in a, a declining industry, it's super hard to mm. be successful in it. And frankly, you probably have to be a genius to, to, to be able to build a successful business in an industry that's going down. Uh, if you're in a growth business, then uh, if you're just around it, you should grow uh, with it. So you have the wind at your back, and that's really powerful and really helpful. So finding the right sector to be in, and then finding the right entrepreneurial opportunity in that sector. So for me, for example, um, I looked for a long time to find an industry that we felt we could guarantee would grow for the next 50 years. Yeah, wow. Right? And that's a, that's a, a, hard, a hard thing to find. <laughs> Health and wellness is definitely one of those industries. And uh, we've been proven right mm -hmm. so far. And the reason is, is that there are literally billions of people around the world who are shifting their focus to quality of life from survival. And as you care more about quality of life and as you age over time, what you care is your health. Health is everything. Health is the most beautiful thing in the world and it's so important because without it, what do you have? You cannot enjoy your life. So that business is only gonna grow over time. Uh, but it's equally important to find the right company mm -hmm in the business because that's how you can maximize your success. And what about timing? You know, people, you hear a lot about timing. Is this the right time for this, the right time for that? And I don't want to, I'm going to wait, I'm going to do. How do you think about timing? And how should people that are thinking about starting their own business sort of factor timing into all of this? It seems so tricky. Well, um, there's never as good a time as today, right. right, in general. So at some point in your life, my only advice is, don't procrastinate, yeah. just jump into something. But, but don't be motivated by short-term timing, meaning um, there are bubbles that happen and you sort of feel this frenzy that I have to get in now or I'm gonna miss out on something. And whether it was the tulip bubble from centuries ago, whether it was the first dot-com bubble that I participated in and I felt the need to get in and I wanted to try to market time it, uh, or the Bitcoin bubble that's happened <laughs> recently, the uh, cryptocurrency bubble. Um, if you get lucky, you can get in the beginning and get out before the bubble crashes. But don't don't create a business based on luck. That's a bad strategy. Just go to the go to the casino and gamble, <laughs> and you're just as likely to, to to be successful. So I got lucky in my business and was able to get in and out before the bubble crashed. But I really say. Try to be in a business where the specific timing doesn't matter. The health and wellness business, whether you got in 10 years ago or you'll get in five years from now, it's going to grow for the next 50 yeah. years. So you're, you're, you're okay either way, but just make that decision to get in. And the sooner you start, the, the more growth you'll have. But um, it's not the same as a bubble. And, and I really can encourage, if I can say one thing, don't try to be the market timer when everyone's going into this hot thing that doesn't necessarily have long, uh, many year legs to it. Um, that's gambling. Uh, so try to be in a fundamental business. And it took me a while to learn that lesson. Uh, and that's one of the gifts that my father shared with me was mm -hmm. always try to focus on the long term. Real wealth is created in the long term. Be in a business where the fundamentals are strong for the long term and then jump in now. 
So this list of lessons that you sort of learned and accumulated, that all led you on your, on your journey to find Shackley as you were looking for something that would be that long-term legacy for you. Uh, but that wasn't easy to find, was it? Very hard. It took me five years. So first is you want to be in a business that can grow for the long term and can scale because mm -hmm. you want to have impact, you want to have a business that can scale beyond your efforts. So health and wellness business, fantastic industry, not only because it's growth for a long period of time, but it does so much good for people, it transforms their life. Secondly, you've got to find the right company within that sector, and Shackley pioneered the, the, the nutrition industry when Dr. Shackley invented the multivitamin in the United States 100 plus years ago. So it had this history, history mm -hmm. of proven products that consumers are willing to buy for decades and that de-risks the, the company profile. And then an ability to allow others to participate in this entrepreneurial platform. And now I think the statistic I'm probably most proud of is uh, that during my time at Shackley, which hasn't been that long, we've shared uh, $3.4 billion uh, we paid out to entrepreneurs. Mm -hmm. um, as their reward for sharing these amazing health and wellness products with people that they know. And that creates a platform for other people. Again, it democratizes entrepreneurship. It allows other people. So many families have changed uh, from small dollars to large dollars, uh, what, their, 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 their current state and, and their future. Um, and then finally, Make a difference with what you do, right? Mm -hmm. Not only do we provide health, not only provide income for people, but we also make uh, do it in a way which is all sustainable. And so we make our planet healthier, we create businesses where they're waste products, and now we turn them into, into great uh, products. It's so interesting. There's a craze out there with the juice business, and I never understood it, to be honest mm -hmm. with you, because everything that's left over from the juice mm -hmm. is what we think is the valuable nutritional content. And so we take the nutrients, the fiber, the pulp, everything, and package that, and that is where the value is. So mm -hmm. what other people consider Waste. irrelevant is actually sometimes the most valuable things. And so we have the cycle of sustainability of living in harmony in nature, of being the first company in the world to fully offset our carbon emissions. Uh, we uh, can build a business which is based on uh, lasting and and also doing good for more than just us. And at two million people, more than two million people in, three point four billion dollars in commissions paid just in your tenure. It's fair to say that you're just getting started here at Shackley. Yeah, my my goal and dream is to get us to ten million uh, entrepreneurs around the world. We're we're helping them live healthier and better lives. And when we do that, we're probably sharing ten billion dollars worth of of commissions to people. And if you just think of the size of that impact, both from a health perspective, from an economic perspective, uh, it's really remarkable. You know, we, 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 we've powered so many athletes to win gold, silver, and bronze medals that we rank number eight <laughs> in the all-time Olympic list mm -hmm. of countries, countries. Mm -hmm. And so I like to think of our economic impact and our health impact as equivalent of a small country. Um, and and what's exciting is that every single person who's a member of our Shackley family is contributing to that result. So what you do, whether you're speaking to your, getting your home, your, yourself uh, healthy, your family healthy, your friends, your community, your actions are helping create this massive uh, economic and health impact on a global basis. And uh, I just think it's just a super wonderful, uh, exciting a rewarding and fulfilling way to earn a living. Well, thank you so much for your time today. We appreciate you sharing your thoughts and your perspective. Folks, if you're as inspired as I am by Roger's entrepreneurial vision, we invite you to learn more about how the Shackley products and opportunity can help you live your best life now. Talk to the person who shared this video with you or visit us online at shackley.com. You'll be glad you did.